again, thanks for watching. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Catrona. If you're new to SolidWorks, you're in the right place. Today we're going to build on our Getting Started series, SolidWorks Quick Tips Getting Started. If there are specific videos you're looking for, I invite you to check out our Go Engineer knowledge base, kb.goengineer.com, for a simple search bar to search existing videos that we have out there. We'll get started by opening a new part, and the first thing I want to do is save that part and jump directly into an extrusion. If you're wondering why I didn't start with a sketch, I'll point out that SolidWorks is good at guessing what we need if we allow it to stay a step or two ahead. The next thing I want to point out is this mouse gesture wheel. I can access this by holding down the right click button and slowly moving my mouse in one of those directions. I'm going to be sure to use the origin in my first sketch and then use the mouse wheel again directly up to access the dimension tool. Double click the mouse wheel to keep everything centered. At this point I can just exit the sketch and roll right into the extrusion command key in 30 and hit enter three times. Next I want to sketch right on the face of this geometry so I can right click on any surface. It's a circle I'm looking for this time. Dimension the circle and then kick off an extrusion with that sketch selected. Recall from the last video, this is where I'm starting to build a historical tree of the features. We started with the planes and the origin, we started with the big boss and then the circular boss. I can hit F2 to rename any of these, which will help me later on down the road to keep organization intact. I can also right click and add folders to group these features in some logical way. The next thing I want to do is cut right through this face. So I can right click to begin a sketch and I can start with a circle as before or perhaps offset the entities of that face. I can reverse that and use the 10 millimeter dimension. From there I'll jump straight into a cut command. Up to this point we've used numeric end conditions. But notice there's a drop down also for options such as through all up to some next thing, vertex surface. This helps preserve design intent. If the cut should always go through, it will now always go through. Don't forget we have a heads up toolbar here for things such as orientation, a section view, and turning off any unwanted graphics like those sketch relations. The next thing I want to do is fillet these edges. I can right click on any edge and notice that the appropriate commands or the common commands to chamfer or fillet are presented to me there. So I'll kick off the fillet command and then just add some more edges or add entire surfaces. No need to zoom and pan around. I can select edges through model geometry while in this command. These fillets should all be five millimeters so I just need to key that in and hit enter to accept. Some finer fillets on this face and I'm ready to shell it out. The shell command is something I don't use that often so I'll use the command search. If you don't see this little icon here you can hit the drop down and change it from help or files to commands. That's all you need to do to find the command is know the name and you can even use the little I button to help you find the standard location of that command. I want to shell out the back face and I'd like the shell parameters to be two millimeters. The spacebar is another way to get to your view toolbar for orientation. If you haven't looked at units yet, at the right hand corner we have the ability to change units or set units for this document. And I'll take one last look at a section view The last thing I want to do here is make a few edits. I'll draw your attention to the historic tree we have here. If I wanted to perhaps modify the offset of that hole, I always have an edit command on any of these tree features that are presented in a historical way. Edit the offset here. Perhaps edit the fillets.
and assigned material from a vast library. Don't forget to save often. And that's it for part two of our Getting Started series. Next up, Basic Assembly. Thank you.